Jing Shi X Chapter 10, Wu Du Zhidao and Ju Shun Zhanu. If you haven't actually read this series yet, now would be a great time to start at the beginning and just read the first 10 chapters because we're starting to get somewhere for real now. And it's pretty great. Lady Zhushan is revealed as uh, being in the bad guy's custody. I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> she says, are you trying to bring calamity to the realm? Wu Du Zhidao. And the response, we present to you, your grace, a wondrous world. So this is, obviously these guys represent the world of darkness, I think, from the previous chapter, but from the prophecy in the very beginning. And apparently his wondrous world involves a whole lot of Zheng Shi. There's multiple of them here, and the Wu Du Zhidao seem to be the, the origin originators of them, basically. The bad guys say, for our first act, we'll begin with pruning the new sprouts of Shenzhen village. He sends these Zheng Shi, these high order Zheng Shi after the three, our three main characters, right? Long story short, they attack. We go into some narration. I'm not sure who's narrating this. And at first I didn't like it. I'm still not sure how I feel about just narration in general, but it can be used well. I wasn't sure what was going on here at first, but on my second reading here, it was, it makes more sense or it feels more like here we're, we're getting to the crescendo of this prologue. I think, I think this is a prologue. I think that's what's happening here. The narration is basically saying all three of them know that they are completely outmatched but only one of them hasn't given up and he creates a temporary, he throws this like smoke bomb basically and gives them a chance to run, which is only temporary. And Zhao Hu's father, the Dadaoshi intervenes to fight, to protect them. And at the end gets killed in a really cool panel where everything's of course black and white, but his blood's red. I don't know if he's dead, I assume so. The prophecy at the beginning of the series here is basically that the world's going to be engulfed in darkness and there will only be a single point of light remaining. So I don't know. Does that mean Zhao Hu? Is everyone dying here? Or are the three the three main characters the single point of light? Do you think we're going to get a time skip? And then they're going to have to... Whoever's left, whether it's just Zhao Hu or all three of them, are going to have to survive the world of darkness and find a way to turn things back around. Is that what this series is? That seems to be something like that where this is going to me. What do you guys think? I feel like we finally really got somewhere here. And maybe it's not the most unpredictable thing in the world. But I didn't really think it was happening this chapter. Or I, I don't know. I just wasn't sure what what we were doing yet anyway. Starting to see it now. In the next chapter, I think we're really going to start to have an idea. So I'm pretty excited now, for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Next video, when it comes, here, like and subscribe. Peace.